Hello and welcome to another episode of On Your Mark. I'm your host, Bubba Wheat, and in this episode I have Evangel joining me for an author's cut of their Howard Zane trilogy. The first arc called The Seventh Project, number 530481. First off, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Have you had much experience with AE before doing these arcs, or are these your first? These are technically my first, but I, I made these a long time ago um, when when AE first came out. I had all three arcs published at one point um, of the trilogy and started from scratch again and, and rebuilt everything to make them a little more exciting this time around. There's a couple reasons why I wanted to interview you. The first is what I'd like to think of is your marketing campaign. A teaser trailer, a pre-release announcement of the arc, and a release schedule for the different parts of the arc. Where did you come up with the idea for all of that? It was kind of a little bit inspired by the signature story arc, where they release a new chapter of the story every couple weeks. I kind of like the idea of building up suspense and building up mystery. The teaser trailer was really just something to to build up some excitement. It's hard to advertise arcs. Um, There's a couple channels... And you can go into the forums, but there's no real like place like right on the, the front page of the website or anything where you can sort of advertise your, your arcs. So I wanted to do something that people could go to YouTube or something and, and actually see a preview of what's to come. You touched upon an idea that's been discussed in the AE community, and I have seen at least one other person try it on a much more experimental arc, but you seem to have really nailed it. Cutscenes. What made you decide to make cutscenes for your arc? That was something that uh, I've been kind of playing with for a while. I pretty much ever since the uh, the game released cutscenes, I've always kind of been a little disappointed with uh, the cutscenes. The cinematic scale of of cutscenes have always been what kind of draws me into a video game. I wanted to make a scene that it kind of embellishes the story and allows you to sit back and kind of feel like you're watching a movie for a few seconds or for or a few minutes. How much time do you think it, it takes you to do one of your cutscenes? Uh, it takes quite a lot of time. That's uh, that's one of the downsides of, of doing them is they are very time-consuming. Usually about a minute of cutscene is roughly two hours of, of work. It's a little tedious, but it ends up being worth it uh, in the end. I thought some of the camera moves you used in those videos were pretty impressive. Uh, sure, and that's actually that's the most time-consuming part of the the entire editing process. Everything in it is based on timing. So if you want to move a camera or if you want to move a player or if you want to do anything, you have to sort of give it a timer. Um, and complex movements such as a, a rotating camera or a pan or something like that takes a, uh, quite a few lines of, of timing. Aside from all the, the bells and whistles, the story is really the heart of the arc. Uh, can you give us a brief rundown of the story? Basically, you're your traditional, you know, evil villain trying to take over the world kind of story. But um, what I wanted to do with it was kind of twist that a little bit and and make it more of a, of a mystery. There's this evil guy. He's just hell-bent on taking over the world and controlling everything. So it's it's sort of a traditional story, but then it's sprinkled in with different mystery and, and suspense elements. Thank you for joining me today, Evangel, and thank you for watching. This is Bubba Wheat. Until next time. In the world of advertising, there's no such thing as a lie. There's only the expedient exaggeration. You ought to know that.